So today we're talking all about live streaming. This is a huge part of our future of the, the you know, Big Sky Creative. We're doing loads of live streaming events all across the UK and we really want to expand this. So we're gonna take you behind the scenes and show you what it takes to live stream an event such as this, a big live music event across the counties of Suffolk and Norfolk. There are 700 kids joining us for a virtual big thing in the hall behind me with a further 5,000 watching from across schools from Norfolk and Suffolk. So we're gonna take you inside, we'll show you all the different bits of gear and basically give you a rundown of what it actually takes to live stream an event like this. So we'll start off with Josh's really complicated bit because he's the man doing the actual cutting. The next thank you is to Big Sky Creative for setting up all the technical stuff that meant the live stream was possible. If you're a Big Sky Creative person, can you let yourself be known and we will give you a big cheer. <laughs> So this is basically the command center of the entire live stream. Everything is ringing into this Roland V8 HD. This is the center of it all. So there's eight inputs. We've got cameras all around the venue and they're coming in via SCI cables and HDMIs. We've got uh, graphics for the event on the laptop that's also running in. And I can basically live switch between all the different angles here. So this is my window. I can see all the different angles on the screen. This is my preview window, which is basically what the people at home are seeing. And I'm recording that to an SSD on the back as a backup. And then we have the audio here. So the sound guy is sending me a left and a right feed. I'm mixing this in with the video output of that through a capture card and it all lands in OBS. And that is what pushes out live to the people at home and in the various schools across the two counties and watching basically what is on this screen. This is the end product as it were. So these are our first two cameras and we're at the front corner of the stage. And you might be thinking that's a bit of a weird place to set up your cameras. But today it's all about the kids in the audience singing and participating. So my job is to capture some stuff on the stage but to also capture what's happening in the audience so that's why I'm setting up a nice high vantage point so I can get the entire hall and make sure that all the kids can be involved in the filming. So I'm on an FX3 with a 28 to 135, which is an absolute beast of a lens when you're doing uh, live streaming because it's got a really long throw, a really smooth and a really usable focal length. And as well as that, I have an FX30 with a nice wide angle lens on it, which is going to capture the hall. So you've always got a safe angle to cut to where the kids are singing. So that's my setup. I'll take you up to Wayne at the back, show you his setup now. And while I'm up there, Wayne is going to be at the back here with these two cameras. So we've got a Leica SL2S, which is going to be our wide for the show at the back. You can get a really nice wide shot of the entire arena. And it's also going to be on a 7200 on an FX3. Now this one is going to be so we can pick out whoever's speaking on stage and make sure we've got a good line of sight of the actual main event. So plugging these two in via HDMI, we come down to these conveyor boxes down here which then go through these ridiculously long SDI cables to Josh, who is actually behind the stage, behind that little uh, wooden block that you're just looking at now. So yeah, a pretty good setup, really. Um, nice and simple to set up. Josh will be receiving these feeds now. Our final bit of kit are these headsets and walkie-talkies. They may look a little bit uh, silly when you're wearing them, but communication when running an event like this is key. Uh, Josh can let us know what's coming up next. He can let us know whose camera's on screen, where we might need to go a little bit left, a little bit right. So that's why we're using a foolproof headset like this. Inclusivity when working in events with schools is really important. And for that, we are going to be filming and putting a signer on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. That's what Josh is setting up right now. It's manually focused, and so there's only a certain amount of depth you've got, if that makes sense. So try and remember kind of where roughly you were stood, yeah. Because right now it's focused, but if you come in here, yeah. you'll be out. Um, so if I keep that there, yeah. and then... Yeah. You sort of remember your mark when, when you come on, yeah. So we're, we're all in, we're all set. There's about two hours of rehearsals. This is the first time we're actually going to see the show and get to know what's happening. We've got a running order, but it's better to see it and to understand why people are going to be positioned on stage. So we'll do some uh, some position checks with the cameras, make sure everything's coming in. And then we're ready for the live stream at 12 o'clock. Yeah, just before we go live, we're going to change all the budgets on the cameras, make sure all our comms are up and running, all the feeds are working perfectly, and then it's uh, go time, isn't it? Yeah, go live. We're all good kick off at 12 o'clock. What an amazing sound already. Hello and welcome everyone to the 2023 Friday Afternoon's Big Sing. Okay, I'm going to go and 
and speak to some children and find out what it feels like to be part of a choir of 700 people in this hall and 6,000 people, yes, open that mouth in wonder, 6,000 people streaming in and singing with us. Why are you in the choir and what do you get from the experience of being in choir? It's just amazing to like hear each other's voices and it's always fun just to come together and sing a song all together. It's just a fantastic experience to be able to hear everyone's amazing voices in this massive hall. One more thank you before we sing and the thank you is to you and your fabulous teachers and parents that have meant that you can get yourself into this hall. Can you give yourself